Hello, let's take a look at MadCan and how to use drive surfaces. I have a model here, a pick a cutter, a 6mm ball and cutter. And uh, if I use the five extra functions, we have something called drive surface. And a drive surface will drive the cutter in the U or V direction of the drive surface. So you can, once you have picked a drive surface for MADCAM, you can use any strategy like roughing, Z level, finishing planar, finishing or contouring, and even pencil tracing. And everything will be uh, transformed to the uh, U and V direction of the drive surface. So, for example, if we just have a three axis machine, we can pick uh, this surface that is part of the model. It can be any external surface or a surface as part of the model. So, the first thing to do is to pick the calculation height, and it should be the highest point on the model compared to the drive surface. And uh, the reason for having this option is to make it possible to machine any kind of, from any kind of drive surface that is closed or wrapped or whatever. Uh, so, next thing to do is to set the angle limit for the spindle. And uh, in this case we have the spindle axis parallel to the Z axis. So then we, because it's a three axis machine, we just set the minimum angle to zero and the maximum angle to zero. And this means that it will lock the head of the machine and then it works for three axis. So we click OK and uh, we can also set the clipping plane for the for ex we don't want to machine higher than for example 4 millimeters above the drive surface because we are using a ball and 6 millimeter cutter and then we will allow 1 millimeter above the drive surface click OK and now we can apply any kind of toolpath so for example we make a planar finishing and if we uh, set uh, step over to 1, angle limit 0, so it will machine the entire surface. We can set the direction parallel to X, that means it will be parallel to the U direction of the drive surface. Click OK, and there we have the toolpath. And we can also change the direction, uh, recalculate this one, and we can set to the V direction, or we can make a contouring, and we can also start from the outside. So, this is uh, how it works if picking a surface as part of the model. We can also just pick another surface, for example, if you want to machine this fillet, fillet, we can uh, like that. Uh, next thing could be to, to uh, make a external drive surface. So, for example, if we just uh, draw some rectangular plane at the top of this, if we uh, move this to the drive surface layer, if we select this uh, as our drive surface, Um, we should set the height to 3 mm and we can pick the depth. It should be, yeah, bottom of the box. Like that. And uh, then we can 
apply any uh, for example if we make a planar finishing on from this it will be like a standard three axis toolpath of course because this drive surface is is just a flat plane but we can also reshape this automatically by going to the drive surface reshape function and there we can see it reshaped the drive surface to fit the model we can move it to the drive surface layer delete that one and uh, now we can uh, use this as our drive surface and we can set minus 10 millimeter step or maybe 20 is enough and then the tool path will look like that but because we are using a, a ball end cutter we could uh, allow an angle limit of the head so if we select select the drive surface again and we set the angle limit to from 0 degrees to 180 and then we make planar finishing then we can see that we have a, a more constant distance between the two paths but we can still uh, machine this as a three axis tool path Or maybe even better if we recalculate this as a contouring. And there we have how it looks when machined in three axes. We can also pick some more curved surface just to show how this works. And uh, if I pick this uh, as my drive surface, uh, and apply tool path or we can choose going in the V direction and then we can see how it follows the ISO curves of the surface and it's even possible to uh, you can uh, change the shape of the of the surface just drag a little in the control points
like that. And we can uh, recalculate the toolpath. Because the toolpath is connected to the drive surface, it will automatically fit to the reshaped drive surface. Thank you very much.